Hello there, everybody, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lessons with Guitar Man. My name's Aaron, and I'll be your designated driver here today for this really cool version of June Apple. All right, and for those of you that have been watching my videos, uh, about two videos ago, I posted one called June Apple Melody, and as promised, I was going to do five more versions of this song, and this is version number two. Okay, so what I basically tried to do with this version was put a little cross-picking in there, some sliding, uh, and just kind of make it a little fun while trying to follow the melody, but not exactly playing the melody. And for those of you that are looking for the backing tracks, the tabs, guitar profiles, the iReal profiles, the PDF documents, the ending lick, and so much more information, you can come on over to my Patreon page at patreon.com backslash lessons with guitar man, where all that stuff will be available for you. So let's go ahead now and dive right into version number two of June Apple and see what this sounds like. Okay, so over here in the pickup line, you're going to see an open second string followed by an eight and then we're to the first measure. So the pickup line's gonna be open, eight. And then moving on to the first measure, you're gonna have a 10, eight, open, eight. And then the next four notes are gonna be exactly the same as the first four notes. So it's gonna be 10, eight, open, eight again. And that whole measure together is gonna to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. All right, and measure number two is going to be a 10, 8, 9, 7, 10, 8, 9, 7, followed by a 6, 7, 9, 7. Measure number two all together is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. Right, and moving on to measure number three, you're going to have an eight, seven, nine, seven, and that's eight, seven, nine, seven, followed by an eight, seven, nine, seven again. So that whole measure is going to be the same lick repeated twice, and that's going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. Right. And measure number four is going to be an eight, seven, nine, seven, followed by a nine with an open second and first string. Like so. So that's eight, seven, nine, seven, nine with two open strings, and then back to an open eight. And that whole measure together is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and play from the pickup line through measure number four and see what that sounds like slowly. So one, two, ready, go. And moving on to the fifth measure now, you're going to see that the fifth measure is exactly the same as the first measure, so there's nothing new to learn there. And the sixth measure is exactly the same as the second measure, so there's nothing new to learn there. However, when we move to the seventh measure, we do have some new notes here, and those are going to go like so. Ten, eight, ten, eight, slide to nine. So ten, eight, ten, eight slide to nine. All right, and the next note is gonna be 11 slide to 12. And the last note's gonna be a 14. So 11 slide to 12, and then a 14. So that whole measure together is gonna to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. Okay, and then measure number eight is going to be a 14 slide to 15, back to 12, 
13 slide to 14, and then a 14. So 15, 12, 13 slide to 14, and then 14 again, like that. And that whole measure together is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. So let's go ahead now and play for measure five through measure number eight and see what that sounds like slowly. So one, two, ready, go. Well, let's go ahead now and play through the entire A section slowly and see what that sounds like. So one, two, ready, go. Alright, well this is the part in the video where I ask my YouTube subscribers to maybe come on over to my Patreon page and check that out. You can get to that by going to patreon.com backslash lessons with guitar man and you'll be able to find the music, the tab, the PDF files, the iReel profiles, a guitar profiles, the ending lick, and so much more information over there. And most importantly, help support me be able to continue to make great content for those of you fellow guitar enthusiasts out there. All right, well, there you have June Apple version number two. Some final thoughts on this tune for you. Uh, looking here at the A section, in the very beginning, you got this. That's not too bad. Um, it might sound a little different to your ear because uh, this B note is not in an A chord or the open second string there. It kind of gives it a little bit of a different sound, I guess, as because the actual melody does, which is the fifth of A, and it works up to the root, whereas this one goes from the ninth or the second to the flatted seven to the root. It's a little bit different of a sound, but I think it sounds kind of cool. If you don't like that, you could always just, instead of doing the open B, you could grab this note right here on the third string and go, which is the same thing as. But I personally like the. And then when we go down to the G, that's pretty straightforward and back to this. But when we get to the part where we go, Tony Rice-esque type lick or whatever. You gotta kinda focus on this note, the 12th fret, the 15th fret, 12th fret, 14th fret, 14th fret. And you gotta kinda like almost just play those notes and then slide into them from a half step up like So that's a little bit tricky, but if you look at the tab and follow along there, I think you'll get that one. You'll just have to practice it a little bit and it'll get better as you practice it. All right, well, that's a wrap on this tune. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you have any questions for me, feel free to send me an email listed below in the description. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because it really helps me out and I'll be seeing you down the road.